question number 101 among us the following common nitrogenous bases found in the genetic material of all viruses are we just started that the viruses they can have RNA as well as DNA as the genetic material some of the viruses can have RNA as the genetic material and some of them can have DNA as the genetic material so see here 5 methyl uracil it is thymine and thymine is not present in the RNA it is present in the DNA only so all viruses cannot have thymine now uracil it is present in the RNA only those viruses which have RNA as the genetic material can have uracil only but those have DNA as the genetic material cannot have uracil in them so this uracil is also not present universally adenine and cytosine of course they can be present universally because they are present in both DNA as well as RNA so the correct option should be the option number four let's move to the next question question number 102 select the incorrect statement regarding the salient features of the double helix structure of dna so this double helix structure of dna has two polynucleotide chains which have anti-parallel polarity and the two chains are coiled in a right-handed fashion in bdna and guanine is bonded with the cytosine not with the thymine thymine is bonded with the adenine with the help of two hydrogen bonds whereas the guanine bonded with the cytosine with the help of three hydrogen bonds so the correct option for the given question is option number three let's move to the next question question number 103 if there is a flow of information from rna to dna then this process will be named as as you know generally it happens according to central dogma of biology that the information flows from DNA to RNA but in some viruses because they can have RNA as the genetic material the flow of information can be from RNA to DNA and because the upper one is central dogma of biology it is reverse central dogma of biology or known as Temenism as given by Temin and Baltimore so this is called the reverse transcription so the correct option for the given question is option number one what about the translation translation is the protein synthesis replication is DNA replication and transformation it's a method of genetic recombination in bacteria let's move to the next question question number 104 says that in which of the following cases for a gene the modified allele is said to be equivalent to the unmodified allele the modified allele can be said to be equivalent as the unmodified allele when the modified allele is producing the same enzyme but less efficient then it can be said to the equivalent to the unmodified allele if it is producing non-functional enzyme it is modified if it is producing no enzyme at all then it is also the modified but if it producing the less efficient enzyme it can be set to the equivalent to the unmodified allele so only second so the correct option for the given question is option number two let's move to the next question question number 105 the ratio of total number of genotypes and phenotypes for abo blood types in human beings is you know that there are four phenotypes in abo blood groups and they are a b ab and o and what about the genotypes for a it can be i a i a or it can be i a i o for B, it can be IB, IB or IB, I, O. So it is for B, it is for A. What about AB? Only a single genotype because it shows co-dominance. And for O again, I, O, I, O, a single genotype. So how many genotypes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And how many phenotypes? 1 2 3 and 4 so the ratio of genotype to phenotype will be 6 is to 4 that is 3 is to 2 so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question mm -hmm.